weekend, the UNC Bears going to try to punch their ticket to the NCAA tournament. We had a chance recently to spend some time with Jordan Davis, the Bears' leading guard who is far from your typical college athlete. It's 7 a.m. on a Wednesday morning, and Jordan Davis is in the gym. But the all-time leading scorer in Northern Colorado history isn't here to get his shots up. He's here to help the UNC women's team, serving as a coaching intern, a job that earns him class credit and that he hopes prepares him for life after basketball. Ultimately, when I'm done with my own career, I want to be a, a college basketball coach. And um, coaching now as a person and a player to, you know, being around women's basketball, you learn how to deal with different personalities. Uh, and I feel like that only helped me as a, as a player. It's fun to have him here. He always has a little comment. Um, he helps me a lot with uh, leadership type things. I think he's really good with um, stuff like that. And it's good to have him in my ear. Um, he knows a lot about basketball, and so that's a really cool thing. After women's practice, Davis makes his way to the weight room. Sculpting his six foot two, 185 pound frame for rim rattling, gravity defying buckets. Then, after the weight room, Davis heads back to the gym. This time, to get his shots up. More than a hundred of them, under the watchful eye of assistant coach Vinny McGee. Basketball is Davis's life. He's your quintessential gym rat. But his motivation is unlike that of many college athletes. Yeah, I think this kid, my daughter. I understand that, you know, uh, she's two now, and me not being able to spend that time with her and me sacrificing that time. Uh, every day I have to work. Every day I have to, you know, go my hardest and give everything that I got. And I can't let the next person outwork me because I know I have a mouth to feed. I have a child to take care of. You gonna dunk it like that, Dad? Dunk it. Oh. Davis's two-year-old daughter Jordan lives in his hometown of North Las Vegas with her mom. And although she may be hundreds of miles away, she's never far from her father's mind. Every day I wake up, I have an opportunity to, you know, change somebody's life, change my daughter's life, or, you know, upscale me to my next goal or uplift me to where I say I want to be. And if I ignore those signs, if I ignore those blessings, then I'm only doing wrong by her, my family, and like I said, God. So it's definitely, it, it definitely pushed me to cherish the little things and uh, just be grateful for the life that I have. Up next for Davis, the Bears are the two seed in the Big Sky Tournament. They'll play their first round game Thursday at 530. Tomorrow